In order to connect to the light shark from the open internet, there are a few ways that we can set this up for remote access. This can be useful, for example, to do some remote programming changes for a client or even program an entire setup with a webcam from a remote place. Now, there are multiple ways to do this, the simplest being using a remote login application or something like that on a connected computer. However, in today's video, we're going to show you how to set this up so that you don't have to have a computer or device connected to the light shark at all. The light shark just needs to be on the network with internet. First, we're going to go into our preferences and we're going to go to network setup and make sure that our ethernet IP address is set up and is static. Okay. We need to set this straight so that we can identify it in our router here in just a minute. Take note of your gateway address. That is, that is your router and you can go ahead and log into your router next. Now every router is going to look different. So we're just going to show the most important information on the screen here and you can apply it to your router based on your user manual. What we're going to do is set up port forwarding. Most routers can do this, even pretty simple home ones, though you may have to toggle into an advanced menu. Okay. Sometimes this is called net NAT forwarding or other things like that. What we want to do is set up forwarding rules for port 80 and port 800 on UDP and TCP. We'll set that up for the fixed IP address, the static IP address that we've set up right here for the light shark. In this case, that's 192.168.0.222. You'll want to set those rules up in your router, and then you're, you should be able to go from a remote device. For example, you should be able to log in on your phone. If you disable your Wi-Fi and just connect via cellular, you will type in your public IP address more on that in a moment followed by colon 80 question mark 8,000. Okay. Now the public IP address of your router to enter can be found either in your router itself or by going on a computer and going to a website like what's my which will show you that address. Once you know that information, you're able to type in again, that public IP address, and I'm not going to show you mine colon 80 question mark 8,000, just as it appears on the screen. Once you do that, you should be able to access the light shark and program remotely. Congratulations. You've now set this up. Have fun programming your light shark.